And before we do that, let's take a look at the points for the young guns going into this weekend's race in action. Courtney Sloan with 1762, Braden Campbell second, Gage Turner third, Haley Miller fourth, Dagan Joseph just outside the thousand point mark, so is Josh Holbrook. And that'll get us set then for this young guns race here, guys. Again, some of the young guns, uh, again, are racing some of their first races of the season. That's a good shot of the number 12, though, Jamie Lynn. The B7, the young cowboy, got involved in the first lap uh, action that they had over there. Brought out a caution. So they are now going to get them started on the dead stop. That's Dalton Wilson leading the way in that 8-6 car. The green flag flies for Flagman Tiny Cottle. Good shot of the 17 for Gage Turner. There's your points leader, Miss Courtney Sloan. Look over there on the other side, and as I said, it's Dalton Wilson leading, but here comes the Cowboy riding along, and as he comes, he brings that 42 car, Riley Fields, with him. Boy, Fields also another one. I talked a couple weeks ago about how that I felt like that Campbell could race in the upper division of the four cylinders. I see no reason why that Fields couldn't need it. Uh, both of these guys, of course, they're driving cars that are being driven by someone else in the upper division. Both of these guys, I look for them to get cars of their own during this off season. It's a 16 and under class, but those guys right there driving like professional four-cylinder drivers, guys. Braden Campbell and Riley Fields putting on a show there for the fans. Campbell bobbled there and turned four, and that opened up the door for Fields, and then they go through lap traffic, and how they gonna pull that off? Man, a line. Campbell slowed down and Fields just drove right in between those two lap cars, put them both a lap down. Unfortunately for both of those competitors, that's Jeffrey Mullins and Courtney Sloan over there on the back stretch. Yellow flag does fly one more time as we've got a car halted over there in the Young Guns class. We'll be right back. And a big thank you to Quantum Healthcare for sponsoring our fast time at Mountain Motor. Also, for Sports View America taking all of the pictures for us. And we invite you guys to remember first Saturday, Friday night, actually, first Friday night in September, the American All Star Series will return to Mountain Motor Sports Park. And we want you to be here with us. And they've got them lined up again. A lot of times the flagmen will red flag these young guns so they can get them all lined up and let them know who's going to start the race and so forth. That's just the safest way to do it for these young drivers that are just getting started. But again, some good looking cars there for you. Uh, that's Gage Turner, a good shot of him there in the yellow number 13. And uh, the 42 is Riley Fields. He's up on the front. And in a minute, I think they're going to actually turn Fields loose again. The H6 there. That's Dalton Wilson. Uh, he'll look to make some noise in this one before it's over. Uh, we know again Joseph Holbrook, the 13th car, very strong car. Uh, good shot there from 28 again of Jeffrey Mullins. Miss Courtney Sloan driving that uh, C13. Bailey Keynes in the 95J. Dagan Joseph in the 919. And Scarlett Crow driving the number one car in the Young Guns race here. Coming down on the final laps, so that would be one more caution that would fly for them. And then after that caution, when they blink the green lights out them, green, 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 as my little buddy back from drop it likes to yell. And that's going to bring out that checkered flag right around the corner for the 42 car of Riley Fields. Congratulations to him as he takes the checkered flag. A good run for Dalton Wilson, Colin Bates, Joseph. And Jamie Lynn would be our top five in the four-cylinder Young Guns division.